All right, so I'm here with my with my dad today, and we just helped move my brother into school in Alabama. So we're on our way back now, and we're just doing a little bit of herping along the way. And we tried, we camped here last night and tried to do some road cruising, but we're incredibly unsuccessful. So I'm hopeful that today, doing a little bit of day herping and everything, might um might be good. So we had a lot of rain last night and everything, and some cooler temperatures. Um, so I'm hopeful that we'll find some stuff during the day today. All right, so we're walking down the road to get to our spot and we found one of my favorite herps actually, a little box turtle. These guys love to be active in the morning and everything. And they're out crossing roads and stuff. So I'll pick them up, it'll probably turn into a box. They get their name. <laughs> this is the, one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. It's a little <laughs> Eastern box turtle. If you look at him, he, he has this hinge on his shell right here and he can box up completely, which makes him very predator proof. <laughs> but I'm gonna move him to the side of the road he was crossing to. So he's gonna get hit by cars. <laughs> and we're gonna head to our spot. <laughs> Look at how small he is. <laughs> he's so tiny. <laughs> I'm gonna get him out of the sun so he doesn't suck. Boom. That's how you do it. All right, so we just pulled up to the spot where we're gonna hopefully do some flipping and just head into the woods where we got this old abandoned structure down there that I have high hopes for that we're gonna go try to find some snakes in. Through this kind of woodland habitat. Abandoned structures. A lot of jars. Maybe their moon shining. So we just got to the spot that we're gonna be doing some tin flipping and stuff at. And here's one of the first pieces. Uh, this was actually one that was laid out by my friend Billy, but <laughs> the tree's kind of falling down on it and everything. So this is just kind of the first piece. And we're just gonna be like flipping it. It's kind of blocked by the tree. I'm not really anything under here, but it's, it's nice and dry, which is good. So the snakes might be trying to get out of the kind of wet environment and under this type of stuff. So I'm only going to do this one, so we're going to go check some more pieces. Nothing on this one. What? What piece? You have two timber rattlesnakes right over here. Here, hold this for a minute. Hold this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. Oh. Listen to that. Oh, peep, peep, peep. My dad's freaking out. <laughs> out. <laughs> Alright, so we found right here, we just flipped this timber rattlesnake along with one other beautiful timber rattlesnake here in Alabama. There's another one under, over there. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about these beautiful snakes. Oh, now he's rattling a little bit. I kind of moved and got a little bit excited. And so he got a little bit scared. But these snakes right here, they're really important for our ecosystem because they help control Lyme disease, actually. So they can be helpful for us people because they eat a lot of white-footed mice and chipmunks, which actually harbor the tick for Lyme disease. So in areas of the Northeast where these snakes have been extirpated, which means they've all been killed and they don't exist there anymore, there's higher rates of Lyme disease and everything like that. Um, so it's really important to keep these snakes around for us people. And also they're just a beautiful species and they don't really mean us any harm either. Look at him, he's just kind of slithering around. He doesn't care them here. He's not trying to bite me or anything, even though I've kind of been <laughs> picking him up and stuff. But these are a beautiful snake to have in the U.S. and awesome to enjoy. I don't want to hit you. There's all these thorns here. It's really annoying. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just kind of getting some partial sun. Nothing under this one. Yeah. Two. All right, so we, we just flipped this other one. This is an Eastern king snake or a, a black king snake, actually, um, I guess for this region. But these snakes are really cool. He's a little bit, well, he's, first of all, he's a little bit angry right now because um, he is in shed and he just can't see very well. It just makes him a little bit more vulnerable. So he's like a little bit like kind of strikey and stuff. Um, he's rattling his tail like this. A lot of snakes will do that. Um, but these snakes right here, they're really cool. 
and a lot of people really like them because these guys will actually eat other snakes. So these guys eat a lot of venomous snakes and they're actually immune to the snake's venom. So these guys can eat a lot of copperheads and stuff like that and stuff like that. But look at that, look at that posturing. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, we're, I'm just going to put him back. I'm not going to take photos of him because he's not in a great condition right now in terms of shedding wise. But yeah. <laughs> You're back. You smell awful. Your musk is so bad. The black, see, this is a black king. They're kind of. Uh, so back here in Alabama and stuff, and up in through Tennessee and everything, they're really black like that. But if you go back to Georgia and everything, they get these really nice white bands. And if you go further west than that, they get kind of like these yellow speckles, which are really cool. And if you go down to Florida, they get like really high whites and everything. Pretty cool. All right, so we just found a, we just cruised a little box turtle. I'm gonna move him off the road. Alright, my car didn't hit him. <laughs> oh, we're finding a lot of small box turtles. This one's another small one. So it rains last night and these guys love the rain because the rain brings out their prey, which is like worms and stuff like that. So these guys are usually out cruising in the morning and everything. Alright. But I'm gonna get them to the other side of the road. Oh god. We got them here. <laughs> They're really cute. These are all boxed up now. That's how they get their name. But he was moving to this side. Oh, he's peeing on me a little bit. Right. What the heck is going on here? Oh, they're, are they fighting with each other or something? Wow. This is right where he moved off the box turtle. I have no idea what this behavior is. All right, so that's kind of a wrap for this video. So today we came out to totals of, we had two Eastern box turtles and then one black king snake and then two timber rattlesnakes. So now my dad and I, we're gonna go to Kentucky and camp there and do a little bit of herping there. So we might, we might make a video there if it's all right. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I don't really know how to add these things.